1. Reciprocation of Kindness, or the Benjamin Franklin Effect. The story goes that Benjamin Franklin once wanted to win over a person who didn't like him. This person was looking for a rare book, which happened to be in Franklin's possession. Franklin found out and loaned him the rare book. When it was returned to the owner, Franklin simply thanked him. As a result, they became best friends. As Franklin said, He that has once done you a kindness will be more ready to do you another than he whom you yourself have obliged. 2. Ask for more than you want to receive. This effect is very simple and similar to trading on the market. The effect works almost always. You must raise your demands if you are needed by someone. At first, you will likely receive a refusal. Don't resist, but give it time. In 95% of cases, the person interested in you will respond again and offer slightly less than you requested, but guaranteed to be more than you originally expected. 3. Forced desire to help. Hello? This is very similar to the previous approach. To awaken a person's independent desire to help you, ask them once for something they definitely won't do. Once they refuse, you have created someone who feels obligated to you. Most likely, they will turn to you on their own with a desire to help, because they will feel a sense of guilt inside. Here's a challenge. Let's see if it works. I want you to subscribe now. 3. A person's name is like a magical sound. Dale Carnegie, the author of How to Win Friends and Influence People, believes that using someone's name during a conversation is an incredibly strong argument. A person's name is the sweetest sound to them. By speaking positively about someone and using their name, you significantly increase your likability in their eyes. 4. Flattery is everywhere. It is present everywhere and always. Firstly, it is important to understand that flattery should look natural, otherwise it can do more harm than good. If you flatter someone who has high self-esteem, you are more likely to succeed. Such people love themselves and love flattery while not noticing it. And those with low self-esteem see any positive praise as a trick or deception. 5. Mirror. If you want to impress someone, copy them. People with this skill are seen in society as chameleons, noticeable from the outside as constantly changing and adapting to each individual. Nevertheless, this skill should be at least somewhat developed in order to attract the people you need. This is the principle on which the work of parodist actors is based. All the celebrities who are parodied on TV screens are often good friends of these actors. 6. Ask forgiveness from the tired one. When someone is tired, they are more receptive to all requests. The reason for this is that a tired person becomes exhausted not only physically, but also mentally. If a boss is tired, it is easy for them to allow you to finish something tomorrow, but you must do it thoroughly and properly. This will add a little respect in your boss's eyes because you kept your word. 7. Start asking for small things. It's simple. Ask for a little bit at first, and they'll open up a line of credit with you. This principle is how people become dependent on social movements. For example, they might ask you to support a demonstration against deforestation, and you do. Then they ask you again and again. It's a small thing, but you're already prepared to give more. You're prepared to support a campaign against deforestation in far-off Tanzania, or join the Green Party and make contributions. 8. Do not correct people when they are wrong. Carnegie also wrote in his famous book that it's not worth pointing out a person's obvious mistake right after you have found it. If you want to change someone's point of view, approach it delicately. Even if you're facing a failure who blames anyone but themselves for their problems, don't shout in their face. Agree with them at the moment and gradually try to change their point of view. Otherwise, you risk becoming enemy number one. 9. Repeat the phrases and expressions of the necessary people. This principle is similar to the principle of a chameleon where a person mimics the facial expressions and gestures of the person they are interested in communicating with. Words can sound pleasing to the ear if they resemble an echo. You need to say what the person has already said, what they have heard inside their head. 10. Nod plus one. Scientists have discovered that when people nod while listening to someone, they are more likely to agree with them. They have also found that when someone nods in front of them, the person repeats the nod like a parrot. This nodding then stimulates agreement in the listener. It is all based on our favorite principle of imitation. Here is a bonus tip for this journey. I want you to subscribe now.